day everyone so just checking that this has gone live because there's a couple of slight issues with some tech stuff at the moment and uh, seems to be happening this week I don't know about you but um yeah tech has not been my friend this week so um just giving it a few moments so that it registers to anybody who wants to be joining with us today but please know that whether you're here with me now or whether you're going to be joining in later in the replay this is available to you i'm going to be leaving up this session in the group so you can come back to it time and time again in at any point that you may be feeling out of alignment or feeling like actually you want to start finding your flow back in place around your life and your business so again just taking a moment to allow whoever's going to drop in this lunchtime to come whether you're watching it now or if you're watching it on the replay do pop and say hi and feel free to leave your comments or observations as we go through this as I will be keeping an eye on them so I can respond back to anything that you um, comments or queries you have so um, I can see a few of you jumping in now wonderful thank you thank you for coming to join me today and um, for us gathering at 12 30 on this Thursday so as we go through this do feel free to drop any comments down and um, hello my love and yeah say hi or, or give a thumbs up and um, do feel free to ask questions as we go through uh, and I'll do my best to answer them or I might make sure that I come back at the end and answer them we'll see what the flow of this next half an hour opens up for us okay so let's begin what I invite you to do is to join me to take a moment to start to tune out from what is going on out out there out out in the wider world out of your home maybe even out of the room that you're in and just beginning to come more inward coming to yeah more your own energy your more your own center place and to do this what I'm going to invite you to do is to hold your hand on your heart left hand first and right hand on top and then just beginning to take some really wonderful, nourishing, deep breaths. Now, I find it really helpful at this point as we're beginning to um, connect, to have both feet on the floor. You may or may not, but that presence of having both feet on the floor can feel um, very stabilizing and securing for me. So if that's the same for you, or have a play, get curious, see what works for you. So placing your hand on your heart and beginning to take some nourishing breaths in. And just beginning to connect. And some gentle, easy breaths. Allowing yourself to be here now giving yourself permission to be fully in this moment and knowing that whatever's going on you'll step right back into it it's there ready for you to return to but for now this is your time for now this is your space just beginning to open up the energy between us beginning to tune in beautiful and now one final deep breath in and out gorgeous and I want you to just kind of shake it out a little bit allow yourself to just get a little bit of movement in there uh, if you haven't had a chance to be out today, if you haven't had a chance to uh, to get moving, now's your, your chance. <laughs> Shake off the day so far and uh, allow yourself to be here in this moment. Okay, 
So we're working with the goal or the intention of I'm 100% aligned to joyful flow in my life and business. Now this, you may or may not have a business, but if that's the case, then when you're saying this statement over to yourself, perhaps you can just drop the business and, but still be working with, I'm 100% aligned to joyful flow in my life and in my business. And I felt called to this particular group uh, intention because there's a lot going on right now. And I found myself, particularly this week, I guess getting quite squeezed around that joy energy, getting quite squeezed in terms of creating that, putting my time and attention and focus onto that. And through connecting with lots of other people this week, actually it feels like that squeeze is, is quite, <laughs> it's being felt by a number of people. And I'm not saying that, that that's, you know, not to let that in, not to experience that. But what I am saying is, is this is offering the opportunity for you to find your flow around more of a joyful energy and with that we're going to see what some of the blocks may be or the resistances at a group level that um, may need some attention, some healing, some care, uh, awareness so that actually you can start to then be coming into this energy of being 100% aligned with this joyful flow in your life, in your business. So what do I mean by flow? Flow is a very fluid energy. Flow is this zone that you can come into. Um, I'm sure you've all experienced it where there feels like there's a lot of ease. There feels like um, you, 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 your creativity is there. Your, your ideas and inspiration are really present. You've got a beautiful, substantive energy that supports the flow that you're in rather than crossing over into feeling drained or or perhaps that more um, sort of hyperactive energy, actually what you're doing is, is in this flow where you've got this steady, consistent and stable energy, but it's in abundance for you. And flow is very much a state that is nurtured and very much a state that is cultivated as opposed to something that you force. Interestingly, the energy of force will be one of the quickest ways to disconnect from flow. And when you're in flow, I find that creativity is such an intrinsic part of flow, which is interesting because when you come into that forced energy, I tend to find that certainly for me anyway, I begin to cut off my creativity. The ideas and the inspiration stop and, um, and that can make me thinking quite challenging. Um, that sort of, that energy can start to be closed off to me. So it's really helpful to each of us when we're in our flow. And when we bring that into our life and our business, well, that comes into the decisions that we make, that comes into the ideas that we have. And, and I tend to find for me, not only is it a creative energy, but it's a very heart-centered energy. And when I'm in my heart, I'm really considerate of myself and others. When I'm in my heart, I can hear my intuition at a much um, louder voice. She's, she's stronger when I'm in my heart. Whereas when I come out of flow, I can go into my head, which is where my ego, which I've got described as the small me or the small you when we're in our ego, rather than saying, oh, you're in your ego, actually offering it as the description of, oh, I've slipped into the small me because that's where our ego keeps us, isn't it? Small. So I really loved that description of actually thinking about me in terms of sort of the big me and the small me. And I found that this week really helpful as a reference. And um, that might be helpful to you too. You know, right now, are you feeling like you're in, in you or are you in the small you? Just curiosity there. Um, and so, yeah, coming back into that when I'm in flow and bringing in that joyful energy, 
I'm much more likely to be able to connect with this sense of joy because that's where I'm coming from my heart. That's where I'm coming from my intuition and that's where I'm in my greatest alignment and, and my own personal power and my inner truth. So this today, beginning to open up that joyful flow, being able to, yeah, it's such a great description, isn't it, Charlotte? Being able to open up that you being aligned to your joyful flow and to be 100% aligned so that there isn't a part of you that's going, yeah, that kind of it would be nice. It's like, no, I want all of me integrated with this. I want every thought, every feeling, every word, every action to be all aligned to this. So let's crack on with it without further ado. So just taking a moment and I invite you to, to just check in. When you hear that statement or say it to yourself, I'm 100% aligned to joyful flow in my life and business. What comes up for you? Are you aware of any thoughts or any feelings that happen, you know, straight away? For me, I'm beginning to become aware of my heart um, and actually I'm beginning to become aware of a, a constriction around my chest and around my throat area. Um, how about you? Are you able to think of anything or, or become aware of any sensations in your body? when you either say or think or hear, I'm 100% aligned to joyful flow in my life and business. Yeah, coming down into your body, what sensations? You might feel an area of you that feels quite heavy, for example, or constricted, like I'm feeling quite a lot of pressure around my chest and throat area. <laughs> and almost a bit like being choked. That sort of constriction around my throat area. Um, you might feel heat in a certain part of your body or coldness. Um, you might feel sort of a, a, a supercharge of energy, some sort of, people can describe it as like a washing machine sensation in their, in their solar plexus, that sort of churning energy. So just beginning to take a moment and and feel into what it is that you can start to feel. Okay, yeah, blocking the solar plexus and sadness. Okay, and is the sadness in your solar plexus or, or can you feel it? Sometimes sadness um, can be described as, like people can feel like they're wearing a heavy blanket, like a dark blanket, almost think of a cloak being wrapped in a, in a cloak of sadness. Um, so yeah, just beginning to have a little feel. Does it have a temperature or, or you know, is there anything else? Because as we've gone and talked, I'm beginning to feel something across my forehead. Maybe this sort of, again, some pressure. So for me, there's definitely something coming up around pressure. Okay. So yeah, that sort of cloak, that heaviness. Okay. So now I am going to be starting to find out what supports we need to start as a group. Okay. So as I'm testing, there's a set of cards that have come up that these are Grow Your Own Light Oracle cards. And I did a reading with these, uh, not a reading, but they featured quite heavily as part of a video that I put up a, a few weeks ago. And um, I know that a number of people have found that super, super helpful, um, the messages that they received from this card. So, I mean, it could be anything. As I'm beginning to test what it is that as a group, um, the group is, is needing to hear or receive um, around this 
this goal to help bring this into alignment. So bear with me just one moment. Okay, you're just having to catch your breath. So just work gently. If some of these emotions feel a little bit, because I've just suddenly, when you heard me go, whew, I hadn't quite seen your message um, about catching your breath. I'm I'm finding that there's, that there's suddenly quite a strong energy rush. So remind yourself, keep both feet on the floor. At any point you can come back to the breathing if that's what feels comfortable for you. And and reminding yourself that you are safe and secure in this moment. That can feel so, so powerful right now to have those reminders that actually you are safe and secure in this moment, that you are warm, that you are clothed, that you are food, and, and that you are safe and secure. Okay. And the reason why I wanted you to just anchor and ground for a moment is because this card has come up and I don't know if you can see it. Priestess. How can you step up and lead? I just want you to take a moment to look at this card. I just want you to take a moment to see all the different colors and all the different dynamics. Take a moment to see these wings. The light in the woman's hands, in the palms of her hands. The light that's in her sacral area. Like the feathers that are around her neck and her chest. These cats they look like guardians and then coming up into this which is all around the throat the third eye and the crown chakra and again surrounded by buildings there's the pyramid there whilst you're looking at this card I want you to just to to tune in is there anything that's coming up for you with this card because what I start to see here is very much starting to starting to step forward and to step out. And actually the joyful flow is going to be cultivated by where you're being asked to step up and lead. Now, if this feels quite full on, because as I'm just saying this, suddenly I can feel like my heart and my chest area are beginning to become activated and I'm, we're all tuned in right now. So I want you to just take some really wonderful deep breaths and I'm going to start to count you through these because it's almost like oh, the pressure. I've got to step up and lead. I've got more and more pressure. What's this mean or how? Like, what's the how? So I want you to just surrender, uh, allow these thoughts to be coming up, but just take a moment, place your hand over your chest and just taking a nice deep breath in for six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then breathing out for six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now in for six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and out for six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and in, one, two, three, four, five, and out. One, two, three, four, five, six, and in. One, two, three, four, five, six, and out. 
two, three, four, five, six. Pause and hold for three at the top of this breath. And out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Wow. So this starts to feel really powerful in terms of when you're starting to look at creating joyful flow in your life and in your business, you need to breathe. Like, it's almost like you get these ideas, you get this inspiration, <laughs> or there's this inspiration and ideas there and then suddenly it's constricting. So I really invite you to start breathing and to be breathing really deeply and to support this, I want us to open up the lungs using this particular energy point. So um, let me just show you. So these are the lung meridian one point and they sit sort of in this shoulder groove that you have here. And I want you to just very, very lightly be touching them. As we're beginning to talk, you're just gonna have your hands, your fingers just over these points I'm just going to be bringing it in slightly. It just comes out of that little groove and just comes inward a little bit more. Beautiful. Okay, so these points are lung ones. And these points, not only are they going to be opening up to the lungs, which is going to be helping to increase your ability to be able to breathe and to take deep breaths. And these breaths, when you're taking these deep breaths, come into your chest, down through your solar plexus, sort of through your heart, through your solar plexus. And where you can, start to bring the breath down into your sacral area, into your room space, which is your creativity center. That's where you'll be finding flow in this, is allowing your breath to flow. And isn't it at this time with so much going on, and particularly this week, where I found, you know, the weekend have felt a very heavy weekend for me, really hard work emotionally and energetically. Um, but actually I've had flare ups of it this week as well. These very intense emotions suddenly appearing. And, um, and it stops me from breathing. Does that happen with you? Where, where without even realizing I'm holding my breath, without even realizing I'm beginning to become constricted. Um, and actually, this would be super helpful. These points will be helping you to, to take that, that deep breath. But also these points help you know when you're holding them and you want to be holding them for about a minute to three minutes, that you are enough. Your ideas are enough, you are enough. What you bring and what you contribute is enough. And I just want you to breathe that in for a moment. Allowing yourself to take some really full, deep breaths. really feel, I don't know about for you guys, but I can really feel like my heart's activated. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Ooh. Now, I would encourage you to just move about. Again, shake your hands out, shake this out. <sighs> Let it move through you so you're not getting stuck in this, holding on to it. Amazing. Okay. And now I just, 
I'd like you to, to just take a moment. And actually, I want you, I encourage you, pop your hand up on the top of your head. <laughs> Note to self, high, high ponytails aren't necessarily really helpful right about now. And this is an integration point. So just by placing your hands on top of your head here, you're going to be allowing this energy shift that we've been creating and holding these points and the discussions that we've had and what we've been sharing to integrate, to allow this new this new vibration in. Good. So I'm really curious. Can you come into your body now? How are you feeling? What sensations are you aware of now? Actually, so for me, I can feel that I can breathe in a much more expansive way. I don't have this heaviness around my throat, but my heart feels very activated. It's almost like a whirring sensation happening from my heart. Uh, lots of energy. I feel after this I'm going to go outside and walk outside in bare feet to help ground myself. Um, how about you? How does this feel? How are you feeling? I'm aware of being a bit lighter. Yeah, hadn't realised how heavy I was feeling until I'm feeling, I'm feeling lighter now. Yeah, upper body feeling light, like some weight has been lifted. I, I totally hear you with that. It's, it's, yeah, I can feel I've got more of a smile on my face. Yeah, a lot lighter. Yeah, outside. Definitely calling me in the air. Get outside, you know, this is a time. If something comes up during these sessions, listen to that because this will be wanting, that will be your intuition telling you what you need following on from this. So yeah, calling you out and um, calling you to air. So again, some of you I know will have the remedy air, will have the essential oil air. That feels like that would be super supportive right now. Um, and likewise, going out in the fresh air. Get to feel the breeze. It's really lovely out there today. There's a strong breeze. There's um, a lot of sunshine, but we've got the vibrance from having had the rain. So, so do go outside to help yourself um, remain in this bubble. And I'm just curious, whilst you're here, this um, this new sort of lighter positive energy, this weight that's been lifted. I'm just curious for you to just feel into how for the rest of today, is there anything you may need to, to say to yourself or do for yourself or allow for yourself to keep assisting this process, to keep assisting this lightness and to keep assisting this deep breath? And just think, feel into, if you were to keep this lightness, this deep breath, what might be different for the rest of your day? What might be different tomorrow for you? So for me, just a greater sense of ease. And... Uh, perhaps not getting so tired and, and getting so caught up in, in some of the drama that I've been telling myself. So I can really stand in that place now of, of greater clarity on um, what I want to give my time and energy to. Okay. And any last questions or queries or observations before we wrap up and you get to go on with the rest of your day. I mean, by all means, throughout the rest of today, do 
feel free to message me, PM me, um, or leave any, any of your observations in the comments, as I will be seeing them and checking them over the day. Okay. Well, with that, I am going to wish you a beautiful day. Go get outside, get your breathing in of that wonderful fresh air and um, enjoy this new lighter vibe. And I look forward to seeing you next Thursday. Wishing you, sending you so much love for the rest of your day. Any queries, you know where I am. In the meantime, wishing you a beautiful rest of your week. Take care. Bye.